and I'm here with you in London, England, Leicester Square, and the Rise Super Club is the venue. And we welcome the wild thing, Daniel Eberg. A Veskul Stuna Swede, and this man is a rock at 5'10 and 90 kilograms. Eberg is the Swedish national number three. His opponent is the secret, Stuart Hall. This man hails from Bake Up, Lancashire, England. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, he weighs 83 kilograms and is the multiple British national champion and former world number five. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 seven seven elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. Oh! Here we go. The wild thing. Daniel Eberg, or Oberg, as they call him in Sweden, his native country. Billy sleeve tattoo. This man is a beast. It will be like arm wrestling a mirror, technically, because Stuart Hall loves to get down into that hook match. This guy is all about the power. A real grinder, Stuart Hall. Stay there. A little bit a lot of endurance, a lot of top end power. Ready, go. Relatively short levers. Nothing to choose in terms of size and physicality, but it is on as we hit the hook. Daniel Oberg starts the running. Big drive, but look at this from Hall. Titans engages that tricep and he's put the triangulated block on. Starts to pop out of there and now edges back in. That's excellent transition arm wrestling. And Oberg is on the ragged edge here, trying to hang it up off the pad. But two bucks from the secret and Stuart Hall gets first blood in his native country. Big, big drive there. Look at that saw technique at the base, shaking with the effort. Oberg was on the ragged edge. Nothing left there. Every fibre of his being trying to hang up that match off the floor. Just a hit. I got me a last guy sideways. You were well slow. Just went sideways. I was expecting a post. Come here, come here. I'm not fast now. Hook him, man. Still in time out. Just on that wrist there for me a little bit. Oberg needs to get off quick because if it comes down to strength at the base, it looks like Stuart Hall has more, and this time the secret is off to a flyer. Goes on his own offensive, and Oberg is into a defensive position early. The Swede tries to triangulate himself, but he's too open off that bicep and won't be able to engage his try easy. Big dragging, sweeping hook attempted there. Moves to the back of the pad, but he cuts under too early. And Stuart Hall edges forward. Far too technical to have any tricks pulled on him, Stuart Hall. And look how deep he is there. That is so tight. Wrist to wrist. The lower hand really engaged, blocking off every avenue of escape it's not there. Not off centre basis. No, no. No, he's just beating, beating you for speed, but he's going for the same move all the time. Mm. Slow hold, I'll let him slow off cut down. Slow in the hook to now. Just a little bit there. On vice Wrists, in the corner of Oberg. Down off the knuckle. And Carlos Anders Ready Carlson, go. the trainer of the team Extreme. Big drive, look at that top roll attack there. Oberg sweeps back stunningly though. And the Swede went from a losing position hit to engaging that drag hook and he momentarily had Stuart in a lot of trouble there. Goes on to the running foul though and there's the counter, Stuart Hall. Looking so good there, Hall. Such a fantastic transitional puller. This man's got a relatively short arm, but he can really pull. Drives across, and look at that. Gives nothing away, hence the secret. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Well, I noticed you're looking at him. Yeah. Oh, you're telling me that, mate. Turn the corner. Nicholas said, you sit and hold it again. Okay. You cram it into all things we want to see. Come across to Stuart just a little bit more. This way for centre. Stuart Hall. Both you on the wrist. Only needs one more to know he's really got this in the bag. Confidence will be jangling. Strides to go for that big, big reversing top roll. Nearly got fished there. Couldn't quite make it, but he's engaged in that defensive position. He's still trying to set it. 
Look at that, really tucked under, trying to carve the hand and wrist open. Decides against it there momentarily. Little bone line press and comes back at it again. Sweeps inside and finishes in the drag hook. Stuart Hall committed to that top row, couldn't make it. And he switched things up stunningly throughout that match. Little pop on the elbow from Daniel Oberg. Not intentional, the elbow was just literally pulled in the air. Because he, 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 he can't pin you at all. Yeah. It's just the brain som inte är van att ändra taktik på tävling. Träningen går ju bra. Stuart Hall, so very strong at the base. The last third, he's immovable when he locks in. Wrist so powerful. Now Hall there, just engaging that wrist to the shoulder. He wants to try and nail the top roll and hasn't been able to do so. There's the back pressure, starts to sweep and Oberg's on the runner. Big sweep again. Aubert's got a wrist right. himself. There's no way Stuart Hall was getting through that, and he has to revert to a dragging, sweeping hook. It's five for Stuart Hall, and the secret is taking over. Big pressure for the Englishman here. One Leicester Square, and the uprising is held at Rise Super Club. Friends and family of Stuart Hall here in the crowd, watching yeah, above us. Sometimes you do it, it makes it worse. Det var så bra. Jag hoppar i tid. Jo, men du kör och sen stannar du upp. När det blir motstånd så står du still. Kriga ur. Det är sista matchen. Ta ut. Det ska vara stenhårt den här. Both pullers breathing heavily. Really struggling to fill. Ready, go! The lungs with air. Like pulling a red line. Like lifting the heaviest weight you can. Six times over with a minute's break. Really exert you massively. Look at that from Stuart Hall at the base. The only sign that he's struggling there is the veins on the neck exposed. Oberg sweeps back in, tries to bone line, can't do so. He'll go on his own offensive, but it's last chance saloon, and there's the win. Stuart Hall on fire.